Hello, welcome to Open Education Channel and this is ASP.NET Core Series. In this video, we will create a basic .NET Core application and then we will see how to turn it into a very basic web application. As we know that every .NET Core application is basically a console application. So let's first create a .NET Core console application. So open Visual Studio and create a new project. Select console application template. For now, let's name it console app web. This is the basic hello world application in C Sharp. In the solution explorer, you can see it has only one file named program.cs. This file has the hello world program with the main method in it. Here is the line which prints hello world on the console. And here is the dependencies folder which include all the dependencies of this project. If we expand this folder, then we can see it has a SDK folder in it. Inside this SDK folder, you can see here is Microsoft.netcore app so let's run this program but before let me add console.read key here otherwise the console window will close automatically now let's run this and here you can see it is showing hello world in the console so this is a simple C Sharp console application. Now we will convert this same application in a web application so that it can handle HTTP requests and it can give HTTP response. For converting it into a web application, we need to edit the .cs project file of the application. This file contains information about what SDK and dependencies the project uses but if you look in the solution explorer there is no any file having extension .cs proj this file is not visible in the solution explorer but if you go to the project folder you will find that file there to edit cs proj file in visual studio right click on project in solution explorer and in the context menu, you will find this option to edit the CS project file. You can also see this file in project folder. Here is that file. In the properties of this file, here it says it's CS project file. You can also edit this file from here also. But for now, let's edit this file in Visual Studio. For converting this application, this console application into web application, first we need to add the web SDK. So add dot web. Now in the property group, Currently, it specifies that project output type is exe. But for web application, we don't need any output type. So just remove it. Now we will add packages necessary for this web application. So add item group. And inside this, add package reference include microsoft.aspnet core this package makes this application an asp.net core application after that we will specify the version to the latest available for now, it's 1.1.1. 1 .1 .1. 
notice the current project structure. When we will save this file, it will apply these new changes in the project. So let's save this. Hit Ctrl plus S. And here you can see it has made changes in the dependencies folder. It has created an extra folder named NuGet and inside this folder ASP.NET Core, the package we just added. This folder contains all the dependencies from NuGet Package Manager. So this is named NuGet. There is one another folder, Properties, which contains launch settings.json. This is for Visual Studio use and Visual Studio uses this file to configure the launch setting of the application for development purpose. Now let's move to the entry point of the application which is the main method in the program.cs file. Here we will configure the web host. This web host will allow our application to handle HTTP requests. .NET gives a class named web host builder to create a web host. So let's create a host. So where host equals new web host builder. To add reference for this class, press Ctrl plus dot. Select the ASP.NET Core hosting option. Now we will configure this using the extension methods. And the first one is use Kestrel. Kestrel is a new cross platform. Kestrel is a new cross platform managed web server designed specifically for ASP.NET Core. ASP.NET Core applications uses Kestrel for development and also to run on the platform that are other than Windows. Kestrel is designed to run behind a proxy server and it should not be deployed directly facing the internet. So in the next extension method we will define the proxy server. So we will use use IIS integration. This will make run this application behind IIS. An important thing is that this application will not be hosted directly by IIS. It will be reserved proxy to Kestrel. Next, we need to tell this web host what to do when it starts. Means we need to set application specific configuration and how it will handle HTTP requests. So we will use extension method use startup. And inside it, we have to give the name of the startup class. We will use a separate file for that. So let's create a new class in the project. We will name it startup.cs, but you can give it any name you want. Add this class. Now, here we will specify the class we just added. So startup. And the last extension method will be build for building this host. Now this host is configured and in the last we need to run this host. So host dot run. So we have created the host. Now we will configure the application specific settings like how it will handle HTTP requests in this startup class. The web host builder which we created earlier at minimum requires a method name configure in this startup class. So we will add that in this class. So public void configure it takes many parameters like it takes the uh, dependencies which you want to use in your uh, project but for now we will use i application builder app i application builder injects the application services in this configure method this configure method is used to define the rules how any HTTP request 
and response will be handled. Typically, we use middleware here. I application builder is used to configure middleware pipeline. We will learn about middleware in detail in fifth part of this series. For now, we will write a simple middleware to print hello from web in HTTP response when this application will run, which will be printed on browser window. So app dot run async context which is http context and in the response we will write so and here await context dot response dot write async Add references for this right async. Hello from basic web app. Semicolon and this semicolon here. So here we are also using the Asynchronous programming, so we have added async and await keywords here, so it will give the response asynchronously. So now save this and let's run this application. In the browser, here you can see it is printing hello from web app. So this was a basic web app in ASP.NET Core. Next, we will create a web application from the provided MVC template in the Visual Studio and then look on the project structure.